Hey, I wanted to introduce you guys to ProMaps. This is the desktop version of the Go Maps solution uh, that brings maps to FileMaker Go. And as you can see when I click on the map here, this is very similar. Um, but we build the map a little bit differently, and this one is tuned to work in FileMaker Pro. And accordingly, we've designed it so you can just kind of paste this into your solutions. That's why these drop down lists are really simple. The map layout itself is pretty simple in layout mode, you know, just the web viewer and then uh, these uh, value lists that you can point at value lists you already have, and a little button here to refresh the map. So just, um, we also have a simple list view. You know, you probably have a list of whatever the records are that you wanna see in your solution, but we give you a little list view if you need it. So I just wanna show you a couple of the behaviors here. Um, you can certainly watch the videos on Go Maps to kind of see how this works, but the first thing you'll notice is that when you open it up, we kind of zoom to uh, these areas. So the areas are bordered in red, and then we have an optional entire map border in purple. And if you go over to Home and then Settings, you'll see that we have a bunch of things you can configure just like in Go Maps. But you can um, change the you know the border color and then the overall border color and the overall map coordinates. We have some nice instructions on how to build this um, on our website. In fact, if you click this little button right here, you'll get to them. And then you know pick your areas, be these sales territories or you know whatever you need to use them for. Um, so you see back on the map, we'll kind of zoom in in general. And then if you filter down to just one area we'll zoom to that area as well. So here's West Seattle. In fact, if I step out, you can see there's kind of the whole area and we keep the, the map border and you can switch this back to all. And kind of all the filters work that way. Um, the other thing that's happening is when you click on a record, we you know show you the sprite. And again, in settings, you can configure kind of what shows up in the pop over here, including you know which container field from your file. And then if you click view record, we jump right over to that record in FileMaker. Um, where you can change the address and this inspection stuff, just some sample data here. But this is a layout, again, a pretty simple layout. You can just go into layout mode, take it apart, and uh, you know do what you need to to uh, make this something you want to use. Again, you may have a layout of your own that you want to use. But um, it's pretty straightforward. The other thing we're doing um, a little bit differently is if you change something here, so let's change the status to waiting. Um, when you go back to the map, we're going to, have a little dialogue there saving the map data. So we're just gonna take a moment to recompile the map. That's not something we do in um, the Go Maps version. Again, you kind of code a little bit differently for FileMaker Go and for FileMaker Pro. So this version is really tuned for FileMaker Pro and simplified uh, a bit for Pro. So you can see that you know the graph's pretty simple, kind of this is your data. So it's, uh, it should be pretty easy to paste into your solution and uh, hope you enjoy it, thanks.